today I'm going to be doing my informative speech on the state of Idaho. So, how many of you guys here are from Idaho or have lived here for most of your lives? Okay, continue to raise your hand if you know the year that the state flag was adopted. <laughs> okay, <laughs> raise your hand if you know the name of the state flower. Okay, cool. One of you guys, two of you guys. Okay, so you guys can all benefit from the following information that I'm going to give you guys because you should be familiar with the different like fun facts and information about the state that you're residing in. As a California-born resident, I became really interested in the different given items to the state of Idaho, so I researched it and sent little text messages to my friend every morning about a fun fact of Idaho when I got here. And I want you to become just as familiar with this state and the information that I learned as I have. So it is important for you to know about the different information about the state that you reside in, and today you will be learning about the state flag and seal, the different items that are important, you can't see it, but there's only that picture, the different items that are given to the state of Idaho, and famous figures that are from Idaho as well. Let's first talk about the flag and seal. So next, okay. The state flag and seal are two very important symbols that represent the state of Idaho. Based on the information provided by Idaho.gov, 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 there have been three different seals throughout the history of Idaho. The first two were created before the state entered statehood, and it was in 1863, and the latter was 1866. The final seal was adopted in 18, sorry, 1957, when the state officially became a part of the United States of America, and it was designed by a woman with the name of Emma Edwards Green and was later updated by a painter named Paul B. Evans. According to 50states.com, the meaning of the symbolism is, quote, the woman represents liberty, justice, and equality. The man is a minor. The pictures in the shield represent the main industries of forestry, farming, and mining. The cornucopias, or horn, of plenty are symbols of abundance, and the elk's head represents wildlife. The words esto perpetua, above, mean let it be perpetual, end quote. The following information came from 50states.com. The Idaho state flag was adopted in 1907 and is a deep blue with a yellow border along three of the four sides that is fringe, and the words state of Idaho are embroidered in yellow along a red band. Now that you understand the symbolism of the state flag and seal, we can now talk about the given items of Idaho. So these are the animals. Each of the 50 states are given various items from various categories that will represent the state and are very important to the state. The following information was provided by enchantedlearning.com, and these are the animal symbols. That's the state bird, the mountain bluebird, the state horse, Appaloosa horse, the state insect, the monarch butterfly, the state fish, the cutthroat trout, and the state fossil, the Hagerman horse fossil. Next. These are the plant and earth symbols. So over here, these two are the plant symbols. This is the state flower, the styringa, the state tree, the white, sorry, the western white pine. Yes, western white pine. And then these two are earth symbols of Idaho, the state gemstone, the Idaho star garnet, and the state soil three bear. These are a few miscellaneous categories that are tied to the state. The state dance, which is square dancing. The state uh, nickname, which is the gem state. The state motto, Esto Perpetua, which means may it endure forever and the state song, Here We Have Idaho. Now that we have been informed on the various symbols that represent Idaho, we can continue to our final topic, which is the famous figures that are from Idaho. There have been many famous people who were born or raised, or both, in Idaho, and I picked my favorite five from the list of the top 15 famous people from Idaho, in, according to Yahoo Voices. So the first is Joe Albertson, and he lived in Idaho since the age of three. He 
opened his first grocery store in 1939, and his business grew to become a huge chain across the nation known as Albertsons. Peekaboo Street is in the middle. She is quoted as, Peekaboo Street was born in Triumph, Idaho in 1971. Peekaboo Street took the silver medal in downhill at the 1994 Olympics in Lillehammer and the gold medal in the Super G at the 1998 Olympics in Nagano. Peekaboo Street was inducted into the National Ski Hall of Fame in 2004. The third famous figure from Idaho is Sacagawea. She was said to have been born in 1790 near Salmon, Idaho. She was a Lemhi Shoshone woman that acted as a guide and translator for Lewis and Clark in their expedition across the Western United States. The fourth famous person that's from Idaho is Lillian Disney. She was born in Spalding, Idaho in 1899 and is most well known as the wife of Walt Disney. The fifth and final famous figure is Sarah Palin. She is she was born in Sandpoint, Idaho in 1964 and later became the governor of Alaska and a vice presidential candidate for the Republican Party in 2008. To conclude my presentation today, I would like to give a brief review of all the new things that we learned today. So we learned about the state, the state flag and seal and the symbols that it represents for Idaho. Then we learned about the different given traits sorry, given items that belong to Idaho and represent it. And lastly, we learned about the different famous figures that are from Idaho. I hope that you all are all able to take away a few significant facts about the state of Idaho and were able to learn something interesting and new.